I just did a video on the cut and come again lettuce. And I thought I would just do a completely separate video on this because I didn't want it to be too long. I wanted it to be just about how you harvest lettuce. But on this video, I wanna show you my absolute favorite salad. And usually I do make this with spinach, but this time I'm gonna make it with lettuce. I'm gonna go ahead and wash this salad even though I don't spray anything on it because I just don't want there. To, we, we saw that little wolf spider out there, right? We saw the ladybugs. I don't want any extra protein that I didn't intend to put in there. So I often wonder, would people rather have toxic chemicals on their food or would they rather have, I, I don't know, a grasshopper or a ladybug? I honestly think some people would rather have the toxic chemicals on their food. <laughs> Does that make me sound judgy? Okay. I personally would rather have deal with the natural stuff than the, the toxic chemicals and stuff. So I think that's enough lettuce for me for lunch today. I'm just gonna cut these up to, into bite-sized pieces. They're about that big, okay? Every single time I make this salad, everyone asks me for the recipe. <laughs> this is the salad, this is my go-to salad that I usually make with spinach and that whenever we have a family dinner or I'm going somewhere where I'm gonna take something, this is the one. I was one of those people that I was a picky eater whenever I was a child and I did not like onions on anything, but I really do like the red onions, but in small quantities at one time. <laughs> I like onions cooked, just not raw usually, but I do like the red onions, so. You can use feta cheese, you can use whatever kind of cheese you want, but I'm just gonna crumble up some mozzarella cheese and put it on here. Okay, I'm gonna put in one tablespoon of butter and I'm going to get one tablespoon of brown sugar. I can go ahead and put those pecans in there. We just want all of those pecans to just get covered in the that sugary, buttery goodness. be separated. I usually make a little bit extra for myself when I'm making this so I can just kind of snack on those. But they just kind of have a little bit of a glaze on them and that's all you really want. So this is what we need for the dressing. Two tablespoons of just plain sugar and then one quarter cup of olive oil. Okay, and then we need one quarter cup of white wine vinegar. And then we need one tablespoon of stone ground mustard. Now this is always a little tricky. I have to do it this way. I have to use two hands. <laughs> Cloves of garlic minced. See, I have one that's already open. No, so I'll have to open a new one. I know it's kind of gross for you to see my compost bucket right there while I'm cooking, but I think that so many people have questions about what you can put in your compost pile. So I really I like. I just like to show it as, don't forget to compost. So I'll be putting that paper in there. And 
This is garlic that we have growing out in the gardens right now. A little bit, bit of bad spot right there, so I'm gonna cut that off. And then so minced small this is going in a dressing it's not going to dissolve while cooking which is really a good thing because garlic is so good and so nutritious it's really better to eat it raw if you can this is one of those times where I will eat it raw I don't usually eat garlic raw but in a dressing yeah I like to chop. Some people say, well, you could do that in a lot faster way, but <laughs> chopping is one of my favorite things to do. All right. So we're going to add that to our dressing. And then we want a half a teaspoon of salt. Now I use pink Himalayan sea salt for just about everything. Half a teaspoon of salt. It's got lots of minerals in it. I don't like the stuff that's been iodized. I know that's supposed to be good for you, but this pink Himalayan sea salt, I just use it for everything. I use it for my tortillas. I use it for everything. Is that all? Oh, and then a quarter teaspoon of paprika. Paprika. Okay, so a quarter teaspoon of paprika. And then we get to do the fun part. Shake, shake, shake. I love this dressing. I hope my mother-in-law doesn't get upset with me. <laughs> but well, the last time she was here, she asked me like four times, can you tell me what that dressing was? What, what brand was that dressing? Like I, I have a recipe, I have a recipe for it. I made the dressing. Just shake that till you know it's all mixed up. Generally, the sugar kind of sets in the bottom. Okay, now now I am going to add the candy pecans. Mmm, so good. Oh my gosh, so good. Now this part with a little bit of extra sugar on it, mm, that's the part I usually save to just snack on <laughs> later. Now, if any of your pecans are stuck together like that, I just break them apart. Now it's time for the cheese and I just kind of crumble it up. Now, if I have the real mozzarella, like the really good kind of mozzarella, I like to use that. I guess you could use goat cheese. You could use whatever kind of cheese you want. Feta cheese would be good in this. Um, you can use whatever kind you want. I just like the pre presentation of what it looks like, just crumbled up rather than grated. I like rustic. And I like to save a little bit just for presentation on top. I like to put it in a nice pretty bowl. I think you eat with your, your eyes first. And uh, as a matter of fact, I may top it back off with a little bit more of the cheese. But I really believe that it's so important that it looks good. So I am going to use a pretty bowl, even though it's just me all by myself. I just, I think it matters. <laughs> mm, I can't wait to eat this. And 
I'm not a big salad person. I love the salad. I am gonna top that off with a little bit more cheese. It's got the saltiness of the cheese. It's got the sweetness of the strawberries and the blueberries. It's got the, the crunchiness of the pecans, the sweetness in the pecans, the zesty flavor of the onions. Oh, it's just so good. I wanna get a little bit of everything. Some onions, some strawberry, some blueberries, some lettuce, pecan. Mm -hmm. It was kind of a gamble. I really wasn't sure if it was going to be as good without the spinach. But I would probably do this with kale also. But I mean, I think that's one of the good things is to you take a recipe and know that you can just switch it out. If you don't wanna use olive oil, if you wanna use almond oil, or if you wanna use grapeseed oil, whatever your favorite kind of oil is. If you wanna use a yellow onion instead of a red onion, if you wanna use almonds instead of pecans to, to play around with it. Like I'm using blueberries. What if it was, um, I don't know, some other kind of berry? What if it wasn't strawberry? What if it was apple? I don't know, whatever whatever it is you wanna do, but I think that the main thing with a salad is to have your green, to have your crunch, to have the acid, like there's the acid, I love that movie, or the series by, uh, I don't remember her name, the, the one that did Salt, Fat, Acid, Heat, and this has all of those components, and it just makes so much sense to me. Uh, so anyway, ah, so good. I'm gonna go on my front porch and finish the salad and watch the hummingbirds. See y'all next time, bye for now.